Family, they say, is everything. But sometimes discovering true family starts with a rude awakening. I beg your pardon, pardon, Madam Pat. I, I was not sleeping. I was only in a meditation of counting plenty dollars. Please. You are a goat. You should be having this kind of meditation in your house. I will not sleep again. Don't downside. Madam Pat. Madam Pat. If you come with me, I'm going to cut your legs. Madam, Madam Pat, please. Please, Madam Pat. Please, Madam Pat. Please. Please, Madam Pat. Ingredients for my raspberry ripple. I'm not going to have dinner without it. I have none. Good. And have you sorted out the um, itinerary for my Christmas trip to Switzerland? He requests it on Chief Daddy's table. I'll remind him when he comes back. Has my son come back from his studio session? No, ma. <laughs> I'm back. Yeah. Man went on a little break and that, but obviously, no days off and that. Man's back in the booth, innit? You get me? Old tight wifey, old tight man, them. Oh. All right, all right, give me a little bit of reverb on that. You get me? Man's going in, it's a one take thing. Always on the block, posted up. Man, them track checks me, but the girlfriend track checks me, but. Oh, ooh, ooh. I dodge. She's not Penelope. She makes me laugh. Like, ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Mess about to get smacked. And be strapped. Or get slapped in the face like, brap, 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 brap. Slap, slap. Uh. And you better be strapped. to meet you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, you're the last person I expect to see here, man. Do you know what, yeah? I know obviously, man, we always got air on the road and that, but how did you hear about me? <laughs> I didn't hear about nobody, bro. I came here to see my man. We've done our business. I'm out, man. Nah, well, nice to meet you, though. Uh, hey, bro, bro. Sorry. Can, can you turn that off? Turn that off, man. It's too easy. Sorry, bro. Um, do, what do you think about my tune? Do you like it? Guy, that track is whack. Listen, let me take like three years, 17 months, go and think about music. All right, it was my time. 
We'll see you later. Yeah. Yeah, All right. Bless. Nice one, yeah. We'll finish Bless up our business later. Yeah, we'll talk about Peace it. and blessings to everybody. Right. See you guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> say me. Say me. You know, no, man loves it, you know? I'll right, see you later, bro, yeah? Yeah. He says he's really interested in me, yeah? And he thinks, he thinks I'm like some sort of mix of like Biggie and Tupac, but at the same time, still like a Stormzy and like a Skepta. <laughs> Wow. But, yeah, he oh even wants to do like a remix. Can you believe it? Yeah. Oh my god! Mad, mad, like absolutely no, mad. No, baby, remember yeah. you promised to make car when you get your first music deal. Babe, you know I got you. You know I love you. Yeah. Welcome to Daddy. I prepared your favorites. Pounded yam and a fale gusi. Chief Daddy, sir, I fired the gate man and employed a new one. Lady Case said I should. Is this still my son? Yes, sir. That's funny. Yeah, why is he talking like that? Hello? How are you? Good, good. You want to come over? Good. It's time you met everyone anyway. Good. Bye bye. Chimdadi, remember you said every member of the family and the staff should write down whatever they want for Christmas. Me, I but... just. Chief. Write it down and put it on my desk. I keep telling you every day. I'm sorry, sir. Thank you, Chief Daddy. Chief Beecroft, my friend, he is a multi billionaire. I stopped insulting him by calling him ordinary billionaire. Do you know this man said we should write anything we want for Christmas? And I wrote a duplex. He did not even object. Is that the person you're, you're calling just a billionaire? I'll go wire. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you. Uh, just, serve, just serve the dreamer. What is your own? Come and take me to the supermarket. I want to go and buy some things for my lady K. Who? Me? Take you to the supermarket. Look, I am Chief Big Road's chauffeur. I am not your chauffeur. I am not your lady K chauffeur. You understand? No problem. Yes, no problem. Chauffeur Donatus. Yes, that is me. Okay. Just wait and see. Wait here. Ah, go, go. Nonsense. Nonsense. Bye. Let's see who will cry. Okay, so you can go and spoil my name. No. Me, Daddy, please tell Donatus to drop me off at the supermarket. He has refused. Chief, Chief Daddy, she's, she's telling lies. She couldn't even allow me to wipe the, the jeep I was wiping. Must you wipe the jeep before you drop me I off? Was, I'm not even going to drop you off. Why would you drop me off? Because I'm not a common driver. I'm Chief Daddy's chauffeur. That's the difference. Go and call Aloy. Uh, call uh, 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 Johnson. Daddy, the common driver. Chief Daddy, please tell him to drop me off. Chief Daddy, please. I've come to remind you of uh, the meeting this afternoon uh, between the, the Croft and the IP. Wait, 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 wait. Don't worry, don't worry. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Okay. Why don't you concentrate on the chest? What's in there? What's in there? What's in there? Chief Daddy. Daddy. Chief Daddy. Chief Go, 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 go. Bring water. Water, let me give him respiration. One, 
Give him what? Two. Respiration. Oh. Two. Oh. Come back. Come and open this now. I'm coming. If anything happens, it's that. Come and open this. One. Come and open it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. What? Come. Why did you have to lock the, the first aid in the first place? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're so now. I'm sorry. Two. Three. Chief Daddy, please. Take, take, take. Four. Take. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Let's find something. Oh. I want something that will. Okay, this. What are you looking for now? That thing they used to cover the nose and then it, it pump oxygen. Oxygen mask. Uh, in the first aid box. It's, first it's not aid possible box. now. It's not here. Oh. Daddy. So what do I do? No, you won't. Oh. Let, let me, let me make a call. Do. Dr. Oh, Jim, Daddy. Oh, hey. don't do this. Oh my god, don't do this. I don't have credit. No. Give me your phone. Give me your phone. phone. Oh. I don't know. I think I have credit. Give me your phone now! Right, no. Do you ever have credit? Hey. No service. Hey! No service. Somebody give me phone! No service. Phone! Hey. Oh. You can't die. Chief Daddy, you can't die. One! <laughs> Two! Three! Four, five, six, Jim Daddy, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven. Pico, no, Pico. Good afternoon, Chief. Dr. Bada, it's not Chief. It's Madame Pat. Something just happened now. Oh, There's an emergency here. Oh. Chief Daddy just collapsed. Oh. He collapsed hey. in the house. Make sure he gets some air. But please, don't move him away from where he is. I'm coming right over. You should not move him. Hi. Chimo. He said we shouldn't move him. Which can't move? I don't know. We didn't move him now. We carried him here. Daddy. No, I think it is because they want if police come for investigation so that our fingers, they will not see our fingerprints. I don't what? think it means anything. Why didn't you tell me now? I, I was touching him. Azan, turn the car around. Chief Daddy's place. Oga, Chief Daddy has. We just pass him now, now. So? Ah, okay. Sorry, sir. One. Oh! Ah, in heaven. Sir. Where is he? Look at him. That will be thy name. Thy kingdom come. That will be. Father, Father, Lord God Almighty. Doctor. My God and my Father. Chimo. Pico, no. Jesus! Call him. Call him. Hey! Call him. Father, Lord. I couldn't have a father come. Pico, have Father. Don't let him do this to us. This good man. Hey! This good man. He's a good man, Daddy. Daddy, we call Daddy. Hey. It's okay. What did they say? Chief Daddy. Daddy. Chief for me. Chief for me. It's okay. Again. Chief Daddy has gone to rest. Ah! Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Doctor, please tell me the truth. What did you find out? Madam, touch this material now. Mm. This is Swiss lace. That price won't cut it. The governor's wife, she just bought this exact same material from us a few hours ago. But it's a bit on the high side. It's not Excuse high. Excuse me, what you're holding is actually the last piece. And you can't get it anywhere else. Not in the whole of Lagos. Um, you want your what? Run along. Go to... Mama Risi's shop and ask her if she still wants the red lace for her sister because this is the last piece. I think I'll take it. Take yeah, it. Yeah, sure. I like it. Okay. okay. Uh, it's okay. Go, 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 go. Come on, pack it for her. Uh, she, she should take it. Okay, then. Pack it well. Yeah, wrap it very nicely, madam. Thank you so much for your business. If you need a tailor, I have one who is fantastic. You don't want any useless tailor ruining that fabric. Don't bother. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
current or seven? Current. Okay. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank nice you. Yeah. Bye. All right, bye. It works all the time. She didn't want to pay. So, how much did you say this was once again? Okay, this one is $3,000. Madam, thank you. Don't worry, maybe next time. Eh? Ah, ah, sis, you ah. can't be the only one absent out of all our friends. $3,000? Yes. Okay, ah. I just bought her she be $500,000. Hi, ah, this one will shop. Uh, okay, um, what about this set? It's way cheaper. $1,000 and it's perfect for the occasion. No way. It looks mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ah, this why this looks nice and it's cheaper. It's your father's wife, she has this set. This one? Mm. Ah, ah, fair. Oshie, mm. we'll go with this $3,000 one. Okay. <laughs> See, it's cheap daddy will give us the money. Yes! His money is not only meant for his son and that's his wife. It's our money, we have to spend it. You must take a man girl, I am in this. What's that you find you not to see me again? Hello, what is it? Look, I'm very busy. <laughs> Pass the list we submitted for Christmas. Hey, so how many should I Hey! Hey! Sis, what is it? <sighs> what is it? Let me, let me have the phone. Mm -hmm. Hello? Shepherd Donatus, are you there? Let's go, let's go. Hey! Mujek Banti. Hey, please, back, 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 go, 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 go. Hey! Here you have the car keys. Hey! Yeah, 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 yeah. Madam, madam, pack your things, pack it, we are going. Hey! Auntie Lee. Hey! My hero is gone. Frank D. My Dangota is gone. My CBN. How? Oh, that. That has humiliated my master. How? I'm very, very mad. Frank D, please, help organize some people uh, during his funeral. Hey, Inugo. Hey, 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 oh, Hey, afternoon chief daddy just collapsed so we rushed to him and then we called the uh, dr bada to come and examine dr bada came here examined him why am i the last person to hear about my husband's death kemi let's not start an unnecessary argument here oh chief daddy <laughs> Manzu is on the block. Post it up. Oh, uh, mess about and get slapped. Get down, prick, prick, prick. Oh, uh, don't know. Mass killing it, don't know. They gash in the ends here. Yeah? Don't know. Get me. All tight, all my man them. Yeah. All tight, family lamb. Yeah, it's a B-Croft team. All tight, all my family lamb. One shot for the man them. My shoe. 
Please tell me, yeah, you lot have heard my dope new tune. Oh. Now, nah, man's about to be famous, you get me? Do you know what, yeah? I mucked it, slapped it up, and killed it again. Allow that, man, this one's hot. Gabo, glory arrow. You have killed him with all your troubles. What's she talking about? Your father is dead. Mom, is this some sort of joke? Mom. Oh. Damn! Oh, man. Oh. Damn! I suggest we go to Dr. Bada's hospital first. Then meet tomorrow to decide what next. Where's Kemi? Oh, God. Ah! Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, 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 God. Oh, Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Castle on castle mm. and get Tega here mm. to make sure he executes all matters pertaining to Chief's will. Yes. 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 Abby, excuse hey. me. My husband's body is barely cold, and the first thing out of your mouth is his will. I can't believe it. Kemi, <laughs> Lenwe. Timo Walori Joko, he was seeing me, oh my baje o, oh baje gidi goni, abo meni to mbasoro. Let me warn you, Kemi, you better put your head in the clouds where it has always been. Everybody knows me, pe mi o bagbere, mi o bagbura ra 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 ra. You all know a joke. I'm a realist. Yes, and as it is now. We have to give my brother a befitting barrier, a one in town barrier at that. Yes. And you know it costs money. Yes. Yes. Benny. Oh, oh. Yes. Oh. Wait, hold on a minute, yeah? Let me get this straight. You lot talking about my money like man's not even here. It's not rocket science, is it? Obviously, heir to the throne and that, only son, yeah? Dad's money is my money, get me. Look, you quiet. Hey, where are you running to? Kill a week. Kill him, sir. It's calm, isn't it? I bet I didn't come. When I inherit everything, I want just, to... Just, just, just keep your mouth shut. And I've told you repeatedly, when elders are talking, you shut up. So, Bunny! When I inherit everything, yeah, I want to watch you tell my billions to shut up. Uh, hey! 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 Yeah. It's calm, isn't it? Why don't you open your mouth? I feel like you did a joke. Kasali. Kasali, this is what you call a jumpsuit. Well, I, I, I thought they said they wanted a captain. Is that what I said to you? Did I not tell you they needed a jumpsuit? I remember my instructions specifically. Hello, Tega. Nika. I'm so sorry, Tega. I didn't know it was you. No, no, no. I'm at the shop. My assistant is here. Well, Chief Daddy passed away yesterday. <laughs> Why 
Where is this boy? Wait, so you, you keep me waiting for over an hour before you open the bloody gate? I'm not here. The, 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 keep quiet! Eh, who is it now? Eh? Who is it that wants to kill my battery? Oh. Uh. Uh. Hello, lawyer castle. I can't him. Me today, I hope I'm safe. Oh, yeah. Big Daddy has gone well. Oh, now I told him not to go without me. Now, where has he gone to now? Monaco, Seychelles. What? I think you should start making your way to the house. Come to the house, Uncle Tega. You know, I can't now. I don't want his wife's wahala. At least, not today. Eh? You are reading the way. I'm on my way. Oh yeah! Hey, 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 close my door! Close my door! I said close my door! So who's gonna be making all these type of calls for you when you're gone? Hmm? Boss, I've got money, you know. Boss, I've got money. Basically, yeah. My dad. He's just passed away, isn't it? He's dead. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I've got to be strong. I know I've got to be strong, but man's always strong. You know what I mean? But basically, he's left me a lot of cash, a shitload of money. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to slap up the track. We're going to reproduce it Grammy style. So I mean, top notch. Yeah, basically, yeah, I'm going to be a flipping billionaire. Yeah, definitely. You know what, boss? I'm gonna have to ring you up later, yeah? All right, then chat to you in a bit. I really do not understand why we have to wait three months before we have the funeral. It's a final decision. That's it, final. So how can you come to my house and load decisions over me? Oh, really? Your house. Look cool, yeah? Yeah. And I really don't think any lawyer worth his salt will... will... You're right. So you can't breathe. I mean, you're right. You won't be so extra, man. Yeah, yeah. Lady K. Mm. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Everything is going to be fine. Amen. They're never worth the pain. Hmm? Where is it? <laughs> Hi, Lady K. How are you? I'm so sorry. Let me, let me yes. take this. Hello? Oh, yes. What now? Today? What? Okay, I'll, I'll call you right back. Then you she saw she look bad. Bro, man. Ah. What could possibly be more important right now, Tega? I don't know. This was unplanned for. Oh, God. I didn't want to have to deal with this crazy family all by myself. I know that's why we came. I'm sorry. But I really have to go. Let me get you the courtesy. Only one. I know, I know, and I'm so sorry. Here you go. Lady K, I'm so sorry, but I have to, I have to leave, but she will take care of everything. All right? Mrs. Castle, I love you. I'm sorry. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. And uh, where is Tega? Oh, he had an emergency. 
And not to worry, your brother is just as much my client as Tega's at Castle and Castle. I know. <laughs> so my name is Remy Castle, and I will be chairing this meeting. We have already picked a funeral date. Mm -hmm. In fact, we were just about to discuss funeral party matters when you came in. I see. Well, once again, good afternoon, ladies and gent. I'm not going to go into a condolence speech because we all know that Chief... Ah, you want to Joss. This one doesn't have a problem. It's about her. Forget it. It's a hard thing. Come on, it's a good name. As I was saying... No, no, was no, saying. no, 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 Remy. What are you doing here? You don't even have the decency to keep away after his death. Hmm. Get out of my house. Kemi, Koyak Beko. She's his mistress. Chagongu. Eh. Kemi, you've forgotten that you came in the same way when their mother was on her sick bed. So please. Look, Auntie Joke, obviously. I'm going to have to disagree with your logic on that. Anyone that hasn't got child for my dad is illegitimate, in my opinion. And obviously, I'm talking as the one and only legitimate child of the family. Hey, excuse me. Who do you think she is? Chop liver? Is she my father's Can't you see the resemblance? Oko mm -hmm. mm. It is heartbreaking. And beyond reason that I have just lost my husband and I am thrown into this circus, I will not take it. I will walk out of this meeting if this woman and her daughter do not leave this minute. Mm. Uh. Peter? Paul? What is wrong with this? Come, come. Wait, come, wait, come. wait for me. Oh, oh my gosh. Peter, come back here. I'm going to smack you if you don't stand in my place. Now go and sit down there. Sarodo, what are you doing here? Why don't you ask Laura Castle? This girl is fire. It's Oibo Pepe. Hmm. And, uh. <sighs> Who are you? Isn't that obvious? Well, it is. You can see they look very much like my brother. Which brother? Are you talking about my dad? Eh, uh, lawyer lady, are these people part of us or...? No, that is the wrong question. Yes, they are family. No. Mm -mm. Remy, no. I am not going to have a meeting in front of all these illegitimates. Illegitimate? You know what, Kemi? I knew it would come to this. This is the evidence of my customary wedding certificate. Mm. With Chief Daddy. Mm. Eh? Hey, hey. No, this is crap. Ah, it's not crap, but this is original. From my experience as a fire carrier in the local government, I think this, this is original. Thank you. But if I'm original, Okay, in case anyone here is about to ask me of my own legitimacy evidence. Oh my God, Peter and Paul, I told you boys to sit in a place. I told you to sit still, sit still. Let me hear one more word from you and I'll beat you up. <sighs> This is ice cream. Ice cream? Yeah, that's Chief Daddy's ice cream. Dalele! 
Uh, emi omo omo emi emi. Hi. Sorry I'm late. Um my name is Justina but <laughs> you can call me CC Ice Cream and I'm Chip Daddy's favorite. Ah. Mm. Now nah, this is bollocks. <laughs> I thought this was supposed to be a dignified family meeting. Who called all these people? Oh, Tega and I oh, we did. Let me Based on Chief Daddy's instructions, they are family. Remy! Look, I'm done. Clearly, you lot are trying to violate me, but I'm not going to be humiliated in my yard, all right? Man's done with this. Get me? Oh, so you don't want to listen to your father's last instructions? Oh, well, then <laughs> you're very free to excuse yourself, Femi. Period. And we are all here for one person. Even though we may not like what the present situation is, we need to remember that that one person meant everything to us. Now, the codicil. What's the codicil? Mm. Are we here for the will? No, do. Not yet. We must read the codicil first because it has chief's instructions. Then we read the will. Do you know what, yeah? I feel like we're just going round and round in circles and we're not even making any progress. Man's not built for this, you know? Everyone is well aware that I'm the only legitimate son in this family. Yes? About the right place? Yes. Hey, how's it going? Hey, uh, what's wrong? Are you not Dame Baju of Old Trafford? Yeah, that would be me. <laughs> wonderful! Come, 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 come! Dame Baju! This is wonderful! This is Dame Baju. This boy handles football. He types it like typewriter. He plays for Royal Manchester. Similar to, to, uh, to Baju, the one that you used to score balls thank with you, the thank you, thank you so much. Man. Dami Baju, it's nice to meet you. you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, I am really sorry to interrupt your meeting. I, I came to see my dad. Eh? Iwani, Kabo, Kabo, Kabo. Iliye o nigo no mo elara. What's your dad? Uh, Chief B. Croft. He asked me to come over today. I just got into town. Chief Daddy? Chief B. Croft, yes. He's the same person. Chief Daddy B. Croft. You are his son? I thought I have seen it all. He has gone to rest. Chief Daddy has passed away. That's why we're all here. I'm so sorry to break it to you like this, but Chief Daddy passed away yesterday. You all right, bro? You cool, yeah? Did, did you say your dad? Mm -hmm. How old are you? Ah, he's old, he's old enough. Because I know him, I've been familiar with him. In fact, you were still in secondary school when I started hearing about you. 27. 27 years old. You know, I've read a lot, a lot about you. He's 27 years old. You are 25. So he's your senior. He's right. You understand? This is not football age. His actual age, I read about it. Damn it, Baggio. You're welcome. This is wonderful. <laughs> no, I can't be. Obviously, you lot are mucking about. You get me? Man's the only legitimate son in this family, so I'm not going to have this, all right? <laughs> I'm not having this. Well, there may be illegitimate parents, but never illegitimate children. Thank you. That's your rightful position. I don't want to sit anywhere. It's your house. Remy. Please, read whatever it is you have come here to read. I need to get out of here. Hmm. I have here the last wishes of Chief Beecroft. Dearest, Dearest family, family, we all make mistakes and I've sure made a few. To err is human, to forgive divine. I apologize for my missteps, but 
One truth I know for sure is, everyone present in this room at this moment is family. None of you will I ever call a mistake. None. I want to be laid to rest a week from the reading of this instruction. If there is any incidence of rancor at my funeral, my will will not be read. If all goes well, no rancor, no fight on that day, the will will be unlocked. Else, it will be read after 70 years. Hmm? 70 what? There will be roles assigned to everyone in this meeting. If all do not start to act out the roles in two days, the organization of the funeral will be passed on to my church and the will will not be unlocked. These are the assigned responsibilities. The event planning, catering, and all matters pertaining to Ashwebi will be handled by my Tenny and Tinu. They are like me, Afefeye people. <laughs> my dearest wife, Kemi, Madam Perfect, will handle all matters pertaining to the church. She spends most of her time there anyway. My son, Femi, will handle protocols for dignitaries. He needs to be more organized. Nike, my one and only tomato joss, will make uniforms for all the orphanage kids. Ekanem, my energetic atarodo, hot like pepper, will channel her legendary energy to organize all things music at the party. That's our favorite pastime anyway. Justina, my ever delectable CC ice cream, will be in charge of publicity. Those are the kinds of things she likes. Ireti, my Efiko daughter, my dearest psychologist, will offer her services to any of the bereaved who might need it. Damilare, Remember our last conversation about a peaceful family. Well, the time to put actions to words is now. Can you try and help keep the peace? My loyal driver Donatus, or my loyal chauffeur Donatus, as he loves to be called, will be in charge of all things logistics. <laughs> This is why our guy he always making me laugh. Making me laugh even in heaven. <laughs> Madame Pat, the superwoman who keeps the house running, will take charge of hers and undertaker services. I've always trusted you with getting delicate things done, and you've never failed me. What's happening here? Why has my name not been mentioned? Eh? What's going on? I don't care, my ever impatient sister. We discussed last year about a trust fund for the orphanage. I want you to make that happen and also take charge of all the activities to be undertaken by the orphanage at my funeral. Two other critical points that you must all note. I want every one of you here in this room so stay together in my house for the next few days leading to the burial. I know how much my family like to party, but I only want family at my graveside and a small after party. If you can all unite, take up your responsibilities and get this done for me without rancor. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard the things I have for you all in my will. I pray you all not to mourn. Just celebrate my life. Protocol? Psst. What is protocol? Look, I'm only gonna say this once here, yeah, and you lot better fucking listen. Eh? Yeah? Man's gotta be in charge of music on that day. If you don't let that happen, yeah, I'm gonna get all my man them. We're gonna come there and wreck the party. Because you're getting me vexed right now, honestly. We won't be here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Please, what color of ashwebi are we wearing? Blue, of course. That's Chief Daddy's favorite color. Benny. <clears throat> what? 
My husband's favorite color is gold. Uh, it's green. No, Chief's favorite color was red. <laughs> red. Someone that's always wearing white I've got that up and down. Please, it's white. The Ashwabi is gold. Please. That is my husband's favorite color. I mean, I should know my husband better than anybody. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> you really do. Get out of my house! Remy. Remy, what on earth did I do? That my husband would humiliate me like this? Mm. Don't take it that way. Hmm? I mean, I don't know exactly what his reasons are, but I know 100% he didn't mean it in bad faith. So, I will be here in two days at 10.30 a.m. to receive the budgets on behalf of those whose responsibilities call for it. Good luck. What? Oi, Mrs. Castle! Is she being serious? <laughs> will or will, no will. I will not be railroaded into planning my husband's funeral with a bunch of people who almost destroyed my home. Oh, sit down there, can we? Let us start. Hmm? Don't you let me start relieving how my mother developed high blood pressure that eventually killed her just because you became my dad's girlfriend. Listen, there are some things you have no moral right to talk <laughs> Look, about. Guys, 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 Finish. come on, okay? I'm pretty yeah. sure the in this culture, when elders are talking, you do not speak unless you are spoken to or requested to speak. What about your son? Mm. Oh, mm. I suppose you want to say something as well. Yes, I, I think he's right. This is more about dad than any of us. Thank you. Now, both of you, shut it. Uh, uh, tell ah. me, it's enough. Let me tell you, when we elders are sleeping and facing the wrong direction, and we have these young ones like this telling us the truth, we should accept our faults. And what these two are saying is right. And let me tell everyone seated here, we are talking about my brother. The way and manner in which some people jumped to their responsibilities, it would seem like they need it to survive. <laughs> oh, Heavenly Father, please save these paupers from the spirit of what? hunger. Amen. What did you say? What did you just hear? Take a very good look at me. You have yeah. gone so far. Yeah. Take a good look at me. Wait a minute. Okay. Uh, it's all right. Let her be. We will see who the pauper is here. Let me tell you, just count me out of this funeral. As if I care. Oh. Mama, we're talking about Billy, hey. is it? We will see who the papa is. <laughs> you plan the funeral yourself with this pleasure. Please, please come. Kill on it. Please, please don't leave Felix. Please. Madam Pat, where is the key to my room? Salam. Peace of the Lord. Here upon this house, shalom, shalom. Oh, I can sense the peace of the Lord in here. Of course, anywhere our dear sister Lady Kay is, the peace of the Lord is always in abundance. <laughs> uh, shall we pray? <clears throat> oh, Lord our God, you are our beginning and our end. Hi, mom. No, I don't know. It's, it's it is. I don't know how to explain it. Okay. It's just crazy. Everyone is crazy, mom. I know their family, but I. Hello. Mom, kill off my lady. Mommy. You're not. Mom, listen. They're all crazy. <laughs> no, as in every single one of them. It, I know their family. All right, I'll try. Okay. Let me let me call you back. I'll call you back. All right, love you too. Hi. 
Okay. So, question. Is it just me or is it a madhouse in here? Expect everything. Thank you for Chief. Chief Let is. this be the first and last time you discuss this with me. Understood? Yes, I'm sorry, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. What are you looking at? How in the world am I supposed to keep the peace in a <laughs> circus like this? Well, you suddenly can't do that from a distance. All right, I'm listening. You do it by talking. <laughs> right. Seriously. One person at a time. Girl, I have a question to ask you today. Will you marry me even though I met you today? Big money fancy. Call, call me big money fancy. Big money fancy. Baby, call me big money fancy. Big money fancy. Oh, fancy. Man's about to rip you up tonight. I like it. Fancy. Man's getting aroused, you know. Fancy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, who's at my door, man? How dare she even insinuate that we are poppers? Ah, it's because I'm not married. If I were married, I dare her to even try it. That's where all the disrespect is coming from. Iranu. Ah, ra -ra hey, bro, it's not because we are not married, you. Kenny lacks home trading. Well, of course, I'm not going to be for her. Is it not that useless woman my father picked from the gutter and made his secretary? And then she became his wife through the back door. Go dig out, she. Ole, ole. Yes, Tanya. Uh -huh. Sorry to disturb you. Tell me, can I talk? Give peace a chance. Justina, One. All the features and that was protocol to a man like Famzy. Yo, mum, stop it. Mum, I mean, stop it. I mean, where did you get all this yo, yeah, and, and, and things from? Why you gotta be so extra, mum? That's my brand, isn't it? Street attitude. If I'm gonna be successful. You are not a street brat. Um, yeah, B Croft. Street attitude, mum, you need to allow it. I'm sorry, Mum. I'm sorry. Things yet. Yeah. Dad's instructions. So I started working on the on the budget. I separated the one from the church, yeah? I spoke to your friend. Don't waste your time. As the Lord lives, <laughs> I will not be treated as a second-class citizen in my own home. I don't care. Let the heavens fall. I'm not begging anybody. Uh, uh, huh. Hey, in your It is best to stoop to conquer and say a joke. But will she might change my bang? Going down into that meeting is like begging her. Abi? After she called us poppers, a meeting your more big crops. Kojola ke kojolo kwanti. Ah, hey baby. Me, I'm thinking of adding a few millions to the budget I'm going to present. Because there's no way this funeral will be peaceful. Not with all these extra wives and children. If the will is not ready, uh, I won't go home empty handed. You better start thinking of how you are going to pad up your budget with some millions. That is the Ashebi. Penny! But come, for that to happen, we have to get Kemi to the meeting. We are not begging anybody. Hey, 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 hey. 
I suggest we make good use of these um, funeral responsibilities we've been given. You know, budget pardon things. So we don't get to lose out on everything, no. Since we are <laughs> all in the same boat together. Hey, hey, hey. Wait, you and who? You seriously have no manners. You know, I honestly think that you are in need of some home training, you little gold digger. She really does. <laughs> Interesting. Coming from a 5K a day red carpet hostess who stole her best friend's sugar daddy. And you, an apprentice fashion designer who was asked to deliver a dress to her august client. So I ended up sharing her husband with her. At least me. <laughs> I work for Chief Daddy. Designation PE. Is that me you're talking uh, to? Hey, Do you know who I am? Hey. Do you know who I am? Hey. I do not know. No, 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 leave her alone. Nonsense. Don't let her call Tega. Hey! Hey! Uh, it's okay. Eh? Uh, it's okay. Hey! Okay. Well, I call Uncle Tega for you now, your money is gone. Hey! Oh, hey. hey. You are your Tega. Go and call Uncle Tega. Go and call Uncle Tega. Go and call Uncle Tega. You silly little girl. Tell her. How old are you? I will tell you when you're older than you. I don't even blame you. I don't blame her. It's not your fault. No, it's not. I don't blame you. Hmm. Wait, um, about the budget. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, it's not such a bad idea. <laughs> so I've got two in one, yeah? Mine and my mum's. My one and only account officer. How are you? Girls, it is done. I mean, you are talking to a steady millionaire. Don't worry long. I'm going to pay you your money cash. So go me by. Don't make me lose my if you give me, make it give me like. Yeah. If you give me, make it give me like. But you make me smart like a class one. You are so important. Hey, Iriti, you know with all the numbers that I've squanched here, do you realize how much we stand to make? Ah, Iritiola, seven million naira. Oh, mommy, ah, mommy. Follow me. With VVIP events, we take care of every single detail, from the big ones to the tiny ones. And trust me, with VVIP events, you are in good hands. Good hands. You're in good hands. Don't call me. Now, with VVIP events, all we need to do is start with finalizing the date and the time of the funeral. It is a funeral, I presume. Yes, it is a funeral. And we can pick a theme, we can book a venue, and we get the ball rolling. Now, you have to pay a deposit, but who cares about that? We can talk about that later. That is how we work at VVIP events. What did you say, ma'am? I can hear you, doctor. Talk to me. Yes. No, but doctor, this is not fair. It's not fair. Last week, you said there was going to be an epidemic that you are going to refer some people, customers to us. What is going on now? No, no, come on, don't, come on, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. How can you tell me nobody has died since the beginning of this year? Is it because of the food farm they are doing? Or is it because of this healthy living? Eh? They are living healthy and, and, and the business is dying. Hello? Doctor? Eh? You could call on me. Hello, Madam Pat. Good afternoon. Dorothy, I have business for you people. Chief Daddy just passed away. And I'm in charge of mortuary services. Chief Daddy is dead? Eh? Chief Daddy is dead? Hey, hey, hey. We say my name. Stop it. Sorry, 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 sorry. Chief Daddy is dead. Hello, ma. And last but stop, mm -hmm. we have different packages. Mm -hmm. We have bronze, mm -hmm. silver. We even have um, gold. There's even Olympic. Olympic. 
is it that Olympic? If you see the model of Olympic, it's five francs. Mm. There are some people that are so big, that's mm. so mongoose. Mm. So we just use call and use the mm. go to the. That's it. Olympic. And we are still recommending that the poor bearers will come from Madagascar because of international destiny, ma'am. Chief was saying now. So we just bring international power to help us to mali the. And you know, you know, Chief is a heavy. Yeah. Heavy. Huh? heavy K. And so in the unlikely event of an unforeseen circumstance, your event is insured to the How highest. much are you charging us? <clears throat> Seriously? Madam. Huh? It is high-end quintessential event planning. Now, at VVIP events, how much does my father weigh? No, ma, we don't mean heavy like that. We mean heavy by his 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 his, his way. Emma, Emma, we also in short, please, yeah. morning. So, you know, he's an international man. Yeah, international distance. Mm. Because when he's split, oh, shut up, both of you, shut Abby. up, shut up your mouth. Are you both done running your mouth? Um, yes. This is our budget for undertakers and all that go with it. No more, no less. Ma, you know this is a relationship because when all of you die, you come to us. Even you if will you die before die. me. This is the final budget. Can you imagine? Yes, You're going to take this. Yes. Save me! Ma, you know what? Just this relationship building, you know. You have to do nothing. Just attend the event and we take care of everything. Look at this. Let me show you how it... You see? He's going to be in that car and in that field. Uh, mm -hmm. um, madams, consequently, we can negotiate. Do you have any capable person who can handle short notice event planning and catering at uh -huh. a friendly price? Wait, yeah. See, the thing is, we have somebody that can give you a international cruise and. and when you're cruising, he's. Hello? Hello? I've worked for you. <laughs> eh? Yes. What's your job? Even catering and anything. But the city video. Ah, this, this, this. The big cross is burning. The man that and one with the other. Let me call you. Ah, <laughs> thank you. Hey, 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 hey. Simbi. 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 Ah, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey. Oh yeah, activate. Lagos packaging. <laughs> what is that? Um, spaghetti bolognese. All this international. Wait, see. We are set to, we are set to. Mm -hmm. Everything with this bag. Everything inside it. Everything is there. Everything is there. Everything is there. Madam, <clears throat> I am still awaiting your favorable response. Sorry, we are no longer interested. Sorry, they are no longer interested. Patrasi. This is preposterous. <laughs> this is preposterous. Calculator is not working. But Let me do it. It's okay. Leave it. Just... Mom, let me help you. When did I see you last? You always do this. Let me just... Okay, let's do it together. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you. You too, my darling. Uh, Welcome. Madam Pert. Yes, Hi. my dear. Um, I'm going to need your help, you know, to speak with... Lady. Okay. Uh, uh, meet my love daughter, Adora. Uh, she just came back from London a week ago. Uh, she's uh, a student of um, London School of uh, Economy. Hi. Oh, Tamilari. It's nice yes. to meet you. I know you. Yes, yes. I know you. Yes. He's a footballer with uh, Manchester. Oh, yes, exactly. <laughs> oh. Uh, what on earth are you doing here? Yeah, it's a bit of a funny story, but what? this is my father's house. Yeah, I can barely believe it. Wow, this is just... This is so surreal. I mean, how come I've never bumped into you here before? Oh, I actually just got back into town. Oh. First time, actually. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Come on, I'll the take you inside. Dami Larry. Then, 
In Nigeria, I'm just dabbing. What? Okay? Come on, I'm just dabbing. Seriously. <laughs> on a least day. What's the excitement? Why are you excited? Something is really. Look at laughter. Nothing. 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 I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't at all. It's like someone. It's like a penis. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true. Seriously. Look at that. Yes, sir. Come on, lay your mind. Don't think you're coming. Every bubu kujobi. Yes. Ah, we're not bastards. What are they all doing here? He has houses all over Lagos. You don't call her back to the central place. Are you stupid? She's it's very rude. rude. You, eh? She's extremely rude. What level are you? I have no idea what this is. Give me your no. no. Let's go. Let's go. No, let them beat themselves with people who fight in only. One more day, Lady K. One more day and it's all over. Okay? So all roads lead to Braycroft Avenue, day. Victoria Island tomorrow for the funeral party of renowned industrialist Chief Akinwali Bicroft. EL now has just obtained some exclusive insider information Wait. from a former member of staff of Castle and Castle, identity withheld, with regards to the late Chief Akinwali's Is this true? Well, the domestic staff responsible has been sacked. The generous industrialist will to his wife, children, relatives, and all connected to him, hundreds of millions of naira. Even his housekeeper and driver were not left out of the sharing jamboree with 50 million naira. Hey! Hey! <laughs> you guys should come and you. Uh -huh, so that we can all roll together to the reception. You no, know? got to show ourselves. Babe, let me call you. Dummy! 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 Hey, sister. Excuse me. I am your father's wife. Oh, oh hi, stepmom. <laughs> Sorry. I wanted to ask for a favor. I don't know if you, you can help me with that. What is it? Sorry. If you have something to say, you better say it quick because I have to go pick up my kids from my mom's place for the church service. Okay. So what is it? I know I haven't really been on my best behaviour in that, but I was thinking, yeah, Dad's reception, do you know, I, I really want to perform my hit single, the Famsey Anthem, and I was thinking, yeah, I've got like two new tracks off my new album as well, all done and completed. I feel like if I drop it, everyone's going to be like jumping up in the reception. So I feel like if you let me do that, I'd really appreciate it. I don't know if you could help me with that. Uh -huh. Actually, I think you can. Really? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I, you uh, on one condition.
bring that chair well now. Yeah, Roger. Wafa, what about that? Where are you? Stop. I will slap you now. Hurry up, because my friend, you please you quick. Hurry up, people are coming. Have you arrived? Who keep ladder here? Who keep this ladder? Rajan, over that. Over and out, Roger, Roger. Four one four two one two. And what goes me? Over, over. Are you goes me down? Yes. Don't do that. I still haven't gotten an alert. I have used my money for the table and decorations. I don't want to go there. Don't go there. You! Get down! Get down! Get down! Calm down. Calm down! That's it. Listen, I don't want to. I don't. I don't know what you're doing. You are. You are emotional. Don't be emotional. is a celebration of life of Chief Akimole Bicroft. You know what they say, it is not how long you have lived or how well, but have you learned how to dance in heaven below, uh, in heaven above or below? Where do you think that Chief Akimole has ended? I leave you to figure that out. <laughs> anyway, I am yours in celebration. My name is Onyekachi Anyamu, aka Continental David, as fondly called by my fans, both home and their abroad. I promise you that it shall. Yes. A rich display of culture. We are all one. That part of the program? Gregory, finish, that is how you say fresh fish finish. Oh, you are giving out to talk. Money not the 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 money not you want to eat, so you can open your mouth and eat. Where's my balance? Eh? Where's my balance? You are disgracing me in front of my my, my, my customer. Eh? You no, promised me balance two days ago. You want to collect? You want to eat? Or you order? This one is you not only your dad now. You want to eat? Where is my balance? Where is my balance? You know no food, food. You food. No food. food. I say, wait, you can come on. Churu, 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 churu. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. That's it. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Bravo. It's okay, it's okay. We thank you, we thank you. We are not here for party, we are here for funeral. <laughs> thank you. You are very well. You have danced well. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, please, let's give it up for the upcoming, the over-talented, future Grammy Award winning and Oscar winning superstar, A.K. Bamsi! Give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. Hey, what's my talking about? Man's not up and coming, you know? Established in that. You get me? Hey, big man fans in the building. What are you saying? You look cool, yeah? Oh, I can't hear you, I can't hear you, man. You look all right, yeah? You not feeling all right? Big man stands in the building. You get me? It's the family anthem, isn't it? Hey, turn it down, turn it down. What's wrong with you? Man is moving like an intern and that. Oh, you ain't got the experience or what? 
Hey, turn it down, turn it down a bit. Oh, them man are moving mad. Moving mad. Look, you lot are moving mad. Before you chat to me, who's your guy? Hey, you lot are moving mad. Moving mad. Them man are moving mad. Before you chat to me, who's your guy? Yeah, baby. Always on the block. Posted up. Man, them track check me, but no result. Your girlfriend tried check me, but I dodged. She's not Penelope. She makes me laugh. Like, ha 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 and you bet the bitch strapped or get smacked in the face like uh you look a moving mat uh you're moving mat them man are moving mat before you talk to me who's your cat you look a moving mat uh you're moving mat look them man are moving mat before you talk to me who's your cat uh all right all tight, my girl, h and in the building. Got the shape and that. Legging pen, you get me? I like that. All tight with my family, man. They don't know. Hey, big man fancy. You get me? Hey, to the guy, them. If you want my number, yeah, just let me know, innit? Hey, I like that outfit, you know? Red is for danger. <laughs> Get me. Always looking dangerous and that. Man's going in love, you know. Hey. All right. I see you moving in that. You look a moving mat. You're moving mat. You look a moving mat. Before you talk to me, who's your cat? Hey, DJ, you got to put a scratch in there. What's wrong with you? Hey, man. Man's done. Yeah. Man's done. <laughs> Man's, uh, she's there. Round of applause for the superstar, Eka Fancy! Yeah. And then we're going to take it on to the sugar band for some more harmonious music. Let's go, diggies. has already opened the floor. <laughs> Shrevy from all of Chief Daddy's wives. Uh, uh, one would think this was a happy wedding reception. Oh my gosh, this is super colorful. <laughs> MC, MC, you're gonna need to call my mom. My mom, my mom's not here. You need to call her. She's on the dance floor. 
Okay, what time is it, man? My mom, she's on the Are you going to tell me who my mom is? Well, exactly. That's so true. You know my my friend. Where my money? Where my money? You will get money. Where my? Well, no, if I count so far, you not give me my money. I go go there, go destroy you. Don't don't do that. One, two, you know what? Looking down from heaven, Chief Daddy must be proud of all of his wives who are out here today, from the fence to the last to the center to the front, everywhere you go. Of life. It's a celebration of concubines, of my husband's mistakes. That is enough, boss. That is enough. How did I get here to begin with? Laying down my heart for more The shadow of love Oh, but you never said a word It was hidden in your hands, your eyes and in The tone of your voice In my memories you'll stay Frozen on the brink of reality Come what may, spring time or fall Just to hear you answer my call Will you love me, I cried, oh I was the first child in his orphanage. He adopted me. I've always been ashamed, hiding, because I thought I would never be accepted by his family as his child. So when everyone thought we were I didn't fight it. Because I got the respect I never had. But now I know better. I miss him. The only father I know. I miss him. Never, ever seen a bunch of more selfish. Look, the clueless. Listen, they're your family. None of them wanted any of this to happen. Hello, Laya Castle. Good afternoon. How are you today? Oh, absolutely, no problem. Yeah. 
coin. Okay, uh, hello everyone. Can we all go back in? So there is very important information that I need to share with every one of you here today. Mr. Uh, Castle, if, if I may interrupt, I'm really sorry. Okay. Guys, I think there's uh, something that we should have done yesterday that we didn't. And I think it's important that we do it now. Honestly, I was going to wait until tensions had died down, but... Lady K. Mom. Ireti and I have spoken to everyone here, and we're all in agreement. On behalf of the entire family, I would like to apologize for everything that you've been through since Dad died. You didn't deserve it, and we're sorry. Okay. Last will and testament. Dear family, to err is human. To forgive, as I believe we have found out, and I see finding out, can be human too. I will be in denial of reality if I believed my funeral would pass without incident, not with the situation I created, one I lacked the courage to face while alive. Whatever happened at my funeral, I believe I sure deserved it. That said, the codicil and all the razzmatazz in there was just to get you all together for the first time and hopefully start something new, which I believed worked by the very fact that you are all listening to this. The administrator of the estates is my first son, Damilari. He takes over the running of Croft Group of Companies. All my children of age become directors, as indicated in Appendix 5. This mansion is willed to my dear wife, Kemi. The properties in Appendix 1 and a sum of 500 million naira. Nike and Ekanem, 200 million naira each. Properties in Appendix 2. My sister and daughters, 200 million naira. Properties in Appendix 3. Shofar Donatus, Pat and Adora, 50 million Naira, properties in Appendix 4. And all my dear children, 100 million Naira, properties in Appendix 6. Just one more thing, please. Please. Can we settle down one more thing? Welcome to the family. Uh, one more thing, please. Uh, people should sit down. Oh. Just please settle down. One more thing. Uh, just one more little thing. One more little detail. Uh, gentlemen, you can come in now. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, please accept our condolences on your recent loss. We are from Keystone Bank. Well, these are uh, Chief Daddy's bankers. I think they have some information for us. Okay. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Sizzle down, please. Sizzle. Welcome. Ah. Oh. I'm here. Over here. Okay. I didn't get mine, you know. Okay. Well, like I said, they are chief daddy's bankers. They are here in connection with chief daddy's last desire for his IPO. International Purpose Organization. Okay, actually what IPO means in layman terms is uh, initial public offering. This means that a craft group of company wants to go public and will be inviting the public to buy into the company to own a part of it. Okay, that's a good meaning. But you know what the... 80 billion. Is it... Are we going to share that as well? No. Um, but that's the amount uh, we, the underwriters, will be raising on behalf of the craft group. But why does he need to make the company public? He has money to do anything he wants to do. Okay, actually, the African expansion the company intends to embark on um, requires a huge financial outlay, ma'am. So uh, what this means is that uh, because of the IPO, the money and other terms detailed in the will remains inaccessible uh. until the process is concluded. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Inaccessible will no, inaccessible. No. no, you're moving and, much, you know? Wait, no, and in the case that it's not? Well, the ramifications are spelled out uh, in the documents we just passed around. Hey. All right. Now, how long will it take? Um, it, it's going to take between three to nine months. Ah. Ra, ra, that's a joke. That's a joke, Tim. <laughs> okay, um, we understand this is a private moment, so if you have other questions for us, we'll be in the other waiting room. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. After all was said and done, the big fights, the hot tempers, we find out that Chief Daddy has left us without an inheritance. Well, my brother, you are welcome to the Bigcroft family where anything can happen. <laughs> I don't even know whether to laugh or cry. I will laugh. I will laugh. Well, Lady K, Chief Daddy did expect this. No. Yeah, let's not kill ourselves. And you too. The way I'm looking at you, your closeness is. Uh, <laughs> Just like bride and the groom. Have you got very suspicious? What is your problem? Please eh? <laughs> say what I'm saying. What is your problem? You get me? You can, you can just look at both of them. Are they not suitable suitors? Yeah. <laughs> I found family and gained a jewel of inestimable value. As for the bit about the IPO and all that happened after, well, that is a story for another day. But now, if you'll excuse me. Excuse me, who are you? And uh, who are you looking for? Penelope, she's crude. She 
makes me laugh. Like, ha 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 ha. Go, mess about and get smacked. And get slapped. Or be strapped. Like, ba 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 You lot are moving mad. You're moving mad. Aye, you lot are moving mad. Before you chat to me, who's your dad? I see you, you see me. But you can't really see me, you're like a pirate. There's not many men that I raise. Your promoter can't even pay my raise. So I wait for my turn. Cause I'm in the future and you're past. Yeah, you're last. Last place, innit? You get me? It's a beat fucking. A man never talk if man sees something. Well, you're a snitch and I'm rich. Well, you're not rich. And your mom is a witch. Them man are moving mad. Nah, you're moving mad. Them man are moving mad. Before you chat to me, who's your dad? You lot are moving mad. You're moving mad. Aye, you lot are moving mad. Before you chat to me, who's your dad? Yeah. I hear bear man out there. Satin bear shit about man's being disrespectful to all them orphans out there. But obviously, man's well brought up in that. So man's not talking about the orphans. So no disrespect, yeah? Man's not trying to be offensive, you get me? 